What's up, Yellow Jackets fans? This is Jim from the Benchtown TV Podcast, and it has been a while since I talked about a Yellow Jackets theory. So, in honor of the official start of Yellow Jackets Season 3 filming, let's jump back into the wilderness with our favorite soccer team and break down a theory that has to do with the bonus episode that will air sometime between Seasons 2 and 3. Although showrunner Ashley Lyle confirmed that a bonus episode would drop at some point between Seasons 2 and 3, details on the episode's plot and release date have been kept under major wraps. But that hasn't kept us Yell Jackets fans and theorists from coming up with our own theories, so let's break down one of the frontrunners that I believe is most likely to be correct. And that theory is that the episode will be a standalone episode exploring the backstory of the mysterious cabin guy. I know this is amateur hour for me to say, but just in case you aren't a major Yell Jackets fan and aren't sure who I'm referring to, Cabin Guy is the name Yellow Jackets fans have given to the man whose skeleton was found with a shotgun in the cabin that the team stayed in until Season 2, Episode 9, when it was burnt down. And if you're thinking, duh, that's been theorized forever, then stick with me because I've added a little flavor to the theory with some of my own thoughts. But anyway, back to Cabin Guy. Very little information has been revealed about him in Yellow Jacket so far, but the teens found the symbol carved into the attic floor and luckily for them a stocked pantry in the cabin that presumably belonged to him. The characters also found his small airplane nearby, which unfortunately for Laura Lee, would explode in season one. Due to the symbol being carved into the cabin and the eeriness of how they found him as a skeleton with a shotgun, it seems that his identity would at some point tie into the history of the symbol and quote unquote supernatural entity in the wilderness. Alright, so why bring up this theory? Well, some new information has come to light that we need to discuss. Sophie Nalise, who plays young Shauna, stated that her and her castmates weren't a part of the shooting of the bonus episode. Very interesting. In a recent interview, Sophie was asked if she had seen the bonus episode, and instead of just saying no, she actually gave us some more information that adds fuel to the fire that the bonus episode has more to do with Cabin Guy than the girls. She said, we weren't there when they were shooting, and we were all back home. The notion that none of her co-stars were there for the filming of the bonus episodes suggests that the main characters from either of the main two timelines may not actually be featured in the episode at all. Based on her statement, it seems the bonus episode will have its own storyline, likely exploring the mysteries and history of the wilderness, and it will feature some new characters. Okay, so now let's break down why this bonus episode being about Cabin Guy makes sense. The first main reason is this show needs to explain the history of the wilderness, the symbol, the cabin, and Cabin Guy. This obviously cannot be done without a flashback, and I think devoting an entire episode to give some major world building for the Yellow Jackets franchise would be way better than sprinkling it throughout the rest of the seasons or just placing a random flashback episode into one of the upcoming seasons. Giving us this backstory right now will make Season 3 and what happens next so much more impactful. One of the biggest questions that has been asked by viewers throughout Seasons 1 and 2 is, are the girls actually alone in the wilderness? Is there anyone else out there lurking in the shadows? A little branch off the Cabin Guy theory is that Cabin Guy was actually not alone in the wilderness and that he lived with people that may still be in the area, even though he's long dead. Going back to my thoughts about the history of Cabin Guy and the cabin, for this show to continue to be a higher tier show, they will need to explain what happened to the Cabin Guy, who he was, and why he died alone in the attic with the symbol carved into the floor. During Season 2, fans kept waiting for Melanie Linsky's husband, Jason Ritter, to debut because an image of Ritter reportedly on set leaked and it looked like he was holding a baby. Melanie Linsky even confirmed that he did work for the show. Of course, Ritter never debuted to the confusion of many fans until rumors and news dropped that a bonus episode was filmed. Jason Ritter playing Cabin Guy or one of the people in the storyline would make a lot of sense. Yes, he filmed for Yellow Jackets, but no, he did not debut in Season 2 because he was being saved for the bonus episode. So let's talk about why him holding a baby could be very important for Season 2 storylines and future storylines going forward. Having a bonus episode with Jason Ritter as Cabin Guy would give us some much-needed backstory, but what if the baby's actually more important than him? What if the baby actually survived and is still living in the wilderness? There are a few major storylines that already occurred that this child, presumably now much older, could play a part in. I'm going to save my favorite for last. Okay, so let's go to number one. Javi's friend, quote unquote, that helped him after he ran away and disappeared for two whole months. When Javi finally spoke for the first time since returning, he said she helped him. Many people believe that the picture that leaked was Ritter holding a baby girl. Could this baby girl be the she Javi is referring to? Honestly, I still think she is sleepwalking Ty, but it's definitely worth talking about. Number two is a little shaky, but I do want to bring it up. 
And that is, did Crystal disappear because there's someone out there in the woods who saved her or dragged her dead body away after Misty left her? Now, I have an entire video devoted to where Crystal went, and it could easily and logically be that she's still literally there, buried under all of the snow after the storm, and Missy just didn't try hard enough to find her. Who knows? But who's to say someone living in the woods didn't take her or save her? Number three, we all assume Coach Ben lit the cabin on fire, but wouldn't it be an interesting turn of events if the daughter of Cabin Guy burned the cabin down because she was pissed these girls were using it as a home when it was her home and still housed the remains of her father? A fun storyline for season three could be that the girls think Ben is public enemy number one when actually all he wants to do is be away from these girls and it's actually someone else they have no idea actually exists that burned down the cabin. All right, now let's get to number four. We've theorized over and over again about this. Who is Pit Girl? I think we made theories about every single person, but could Pit Girl be Cabin Guy's daughter or a member of a society of people still living in the wilderness? Jason Ritter was seen filming with an infant daughter, like I said earlier in the video. Cabin Guy's remains were found. There was no indication that a baby's remains were found by the girls. Did the girl grow up to become Pit Girl, or at least will Cabin Guy and the baby start a storyline explaining that there actually are more people lurking in the wilderness, and one of them becomes Pit Girl? If they use the bonus episode to introduce Cabin Guy, his daughter, and possibly more characters, by the time the Pit Girl scene actually occurs for us viewers, this person could be well acclimated as a character in this story. Now, do I still think Pit Girl is one of the girls, a.k.a. Mari? Yeah, probably, especially because wearing the necklace indicates that this person is a sacrifice who draws the queen card. But who's to say that more characters can't be introduced into our Yellow Jackets tribe? All right, guys, that's it for today. And damn, it felt good to be talking about Yellow Jackets again. What do you think about this theory? Do you think Cabin Guy being the main storyline for the bonus episode makes sense? And what do you think about the possibilities of new characters from this bonus episode being introduced into the story? Let me know in the comments. And also let me know if you want me to continue with the Yellow Jackets content, even though we still have plenty of time until next season. And of course, if you like this video, please hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps the channel out. All right, until next time, guys. Buzz, buzz, buzz.